Hi, good day. Welcome to Science Colab. And for today's lesson, we are going to discuss the mechanics of breathing. For our learning competency, describe how the movement of the diaphragm helps the air go in and out of the lungs. Breathing is simply the act of taking air in and out of the lungs. Breathing system is made up of the organs in the body that helps us to breathe. There are two processes of breathing, the inhalation and exhalation. Inhalation is the mechanical process wherein air goes into the lungs. The size of the thoracic cavity increases when the inspiratory muscles such as the diaphragm and the external intercostal muscles found between the ribs contract. As shown in our illustration, the diaphragm flattens as it goes down during inspiration, while the intercostal muscles push the breast bone forward and lift the rib cage. This causes the dimensions of the thorax to increase. Thus, increasing the volume of the lungs, the air continues to enter the lungs until the pressure within the lungs balances with the atmospheric pressure. Next process is exhalation. Exhalation is the mechanical process that occurs when air leaves the lungs. This process shown in our illustration. It depends on the elasticity of the lungs. The lungs recoil as the inspiratory muscle relax. During the process, the volume of the lungs decreases. The pressure inside the lungs becomes higher than the atmospheric pressure as the gases inside the lungs move closely together. This causes the air to leave the lungs to make the pressure inside and out of the lungs equal. Other definition for inhalation. Inhalation is the process of taking in air containing oxygen, while exhalation is the process of giving out which containing carbon dioxide. This is the basic process of breathing. Breathing rate varies from person to person and different kind of activity that they perform in daily living. Though on an average, the breathing rate of an adult is 15 to 18 times a minute. However, it may increase up to 25 times per minute. In case of heavy exercises while running or fast walking. There is a lot of confusion between breathing and respiration. So it can be simply understood by saying that breathing involves the process of exchanging of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide from the lungs with the help of various respiratory organs. While respiration is the complete biochemical process where the cells of organisms gain energy by combining oxygen and glucose which results in giving out carbon dioxide, ATP or the adenosine triphosphate, and water. Congratulations students for finishing this lesson. I hope you learned something for this topic. And once again, thank you and God bless.